really? Peanut butter. What else I put in it? Protein powder and yeah. maple syrup. Yeah. You make it? And oh, right. Yeah, I make it. And then just melt some duck chocolate. Keep dancing. And then you get some What are you thinking about this? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's what I come for. What do you come for, Adam? The hot of it all. No. <laughs> if you want higher. Yeah. But then I need the angle. That's why I was changing it. I need the angle. I mean it's cool, but I'm not gonna keep going because it's just <laughs> To do that sort of photography too. Well, we're getting really close to the Taranaki volcano now. Well, I suppose uh, technically we are on it because we're sort of on its lower slopes at the moment, aren't we? I might just do a little pan so you can see, see down it. It's back down into the swamp down there. There we go, that's what I was talking about yesterday, what's on this panel board. Um, I wasn't um, speaking as well as what it says on here though, of course. Um, but yeah, it talks about um, a, a layer of loose rock and ash being um, laid down by Taranaki and then a more solid layer of lava coming, being laid down and how that's unstable because you know, water can seep through and wash away the more crumbly layer and then you've got this, uh, and then ice will come through and break up the uh, ice will form and break up the uh, some of the uh, more solid lava layers and then eventually it just all kind of just washes away and tumbles down and creates lahars and can be quite dangerous really. Not as dangerous as a volcanic eruption, I'd rather, I'd rather be uh, have a lahar coming towards me than a pyroclastic flow but yeah. It's a good shot of the swamp down there. Boy, I bet it's hot down there today. That's one advantage of walking on a cloudy day is that it'll be pretty hot and humid down there, I'd say. I'm looking out towards the Tasman Sea through there. Hmm. Oh, look, you can see towards the north through there as well. You can see the coastline running. There's a mountain range just, does it show up on the camera? I don't know if it shows up on the camera, but there's a mountain range just there. I'm not sure what, what that is, what, what mountain mountains those are. Yeah, that's the sort of thing they, were, they would have been, they're talking about when they're talking about the uh, instability of the mountain and, yeah. and rocks and ash washing away and sections of the mountain washing away. Deep, isn't it? It down. Yeah, well, it's steep and also That's unstable. Yeah. Across, so there hasn't been a path across these ranges for a very long time. Grizzle in here again, growing in there. <laughs> it, must been, it must have been happened a while ago because the vegetation is coming back. Well, there we go. There's some very different looking layers in there. That. There's pumice, pumice rock in there, which is basically like bubbly lava really, it's uh, very porous and full of air, lots of gas when it's re um, released. You can see all that, all that sort of ashy pumicey layer in there. 
That's why Taranaki looks so crumbly from this side. Oh, that, this one. Oh, cool. Yeah. You can't quite see when I'm standing in the sun. I'll have to stand back in the shade, then my camera knows how to. Yeah, look at that. Go away, fly. Well, there we go. We can see Tongariro National Park now. If I zoom in, it might, I don't think the camera is really picking it up, but if I zoom in a bit, you might be able to see Narohoe and Ruapehu. Those are also andesitic stratovolcanoes. Ruapehu's doesn't look big and pointy because it's collapsed at some point like Mount St. Helens did, like Taranaki has done in the past as well, but it's, as you can see, it's, it's built itself back up. <laughs> Your hand again, I'll zoom in on them. Oh, the background of the bush. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> you want some? Very unstable up there. No wonder volcanoes don't last long. Geologically speaking, that is. They last unimaginable scales of human time, <laughs> but in terms of geological time, they don't last very long. Especially these kind. Look at that slip there. It's one of those cliffs. Beach of the huge. Doesn't look at like that's probably about as tall as Godzilla, that, that cliff there. Yeah. Did you do any of the side trips where you go up the mountain? Well I guess it depends on which version of Godzilla. Looks like we're gonna have to go across that slip there. So I'll get a good look up it. Yeah, see, this is one of the more solid layers like I was talking about before. It'll last a bit longer than all the crumbly stuff, but it'll fall away eventually. Yeah, see this proper, proper rock. Mm. These are really tall, actually. They look smaller from the distance, but I suppose everything does. down the opposite direction. Mm. This is the bridge that um, I've been seeing people walk across. Man, look at that. That's definitely a solid layer, isn't it? I mean, it's still crumbles and falls apart eventually. More! Oh jeez. We have to walk across there. Sheesh. That. So where we 
walking I'm going across to there to that post and then there a post down there, that post down there. Aye, aye, aye. Wow, look at that. How do you like that mum? You'd love this wouldn't you? Back up that way really quickly because I'm crapping myself right now. <laughs> okay. Another plane. That's where we just came from. There she is. There's my sister. Oh, here comes another hiker. I can hear the rest of the group somewhere. Look how far away the poor clay mountains are now. Visitor centre down there. Well, we just came down from there. Where's my hand? Got this track here and around this. Oh, there, there we go, there's our track. You see it on the side of the mountain. One last shot before I go down. <sighs> Back under cover now. Lovely. It's getting pretty warm out in the sun there. Mm. Still in the shade because I'm hiding under this the shade of this totara tree here. But we've got a little bit of a lookout and um, I'm not gonna have a lookout because I'm staying out of the sun. But they're in the sun because they love the sun. <laughs> oh, a sign! That's a good well, sign. Uh, uh, 380 m meters to the visitor center. Uh, yeah, oh, there's an obelisk here. I wonder what that's for. This is the camp house. So the visitor centre is just down the road. And I think I will end the video right here. So it's the end of the video. Goodbye everybody. 
see you in the next video.